Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, today is an absolutely beautiful day. And that's good. Because we've got a great big battery to charge up. Absolutely beautiful. All systems are full already. And that's good. I can pull out one battery and charge up another one that's going to take a little doing. It's a big boy. So here we go. So here we have the Red Odo 12.8 volt, 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This is a nice big battery capable of powering a lot of your stuff. Younger, bolder, and stronger. All qualities I used to be able to claim about myself many years ago. And packed inside of this beauty are grade A cells, a 200 amp BMS, which is what I really like to see in batteries this size. If you're going to have a nice big battery, you want to have the nice big capacity BMS as well. This will charge or discharge up to 200 amps so it can handle about anything you're going to throw at it. This weighs in at just over 64 pounds and you'll need these nice and sturdy carrying handles to move it around. Got one on each side. Makes it pretty easy. 64 pounds is not that difficult to move around. And on a slick floor, you can just drag it straight across. But it's nice to have those handles for when you're lifting it in and out of place of your installation. If you watch this channel before, you know that we have also been running a 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Red Odo. We have been running that 24 seven for the past several months and it has never missed a beat. It runs perfectly lives up to all of its specifications, and it is in constant production out here. Uh, this one's going to be in production here shortly as well. And like all of their batteries do, it comes with a quick reference guide. A lot of just basic information for you to read over, how it's shipped to you at the 30 to 50 percent charge how to get it up to 100% before you start using it, which is what we always do. You want to make sure when you get one of these batteries, go ahead and test it to see how it arrived. This one arrived with a voltage of 13.15, which is just about perfect for shipping purposes. And during this review, we're also going to throw it onto a solar system and start to charge this up to its full capacity. Then we'll start slipping it into action here, running a bunch of various appliances. And besides the quick reference guide, it comes with a really great little product manual like they all do now. Very easily understood, gives you all the general information you would need to get this into your system. I won't go over it all, but I will tell you that it's uh, extremely easy to read, very easy to understand, has all the pertinent information you would need how to tie it into various configurations, whether you wanted to make a 24 volt system, a 48 volt system, which of course takes more batteries. But you could do that with this. Gives you a quick reference on your state of charge for those of you not interested in what the uh, battery capacity and charge voltage, how they relate to each other. So it's always good to see that kind of a uh, display. I still refer to those things, uh, even though I've been running these batteries for quite a while now. And then it gives you some basic uh, battery pack parameters. So we do know this is a 300 amp hour. The usable capacity is 300 amp hour. Nominal voltage 12.8. This holds a whopping 3,840 watt hours. Just, and like I said, the 200 amp BMS, that's what I really like to see. So you can run, run your large appliances, 
coffee makers, all the stuff that has a, a high amperage draw, you're going to be in good shape with a battery of this size. Yeah, this is just fantastic. So, yeah, you'd want to look over this, read it from cover to cover, give you everything you need to know. Just a beautiful battery as well. Of course, it comes with the thread protectors like they all do. Very nice. You can just see what kind of great shape those are in. M8 terminals. Comes with a... Uh, the M8 terminal bolts and a couple of terminal protection covers. And that's what they look like right here. They do give you an extra set of the terminal bolts. You got one set that you definitely need. You got a spare set. And then here's your positive and negative uh, protection covers to slip on to the top of the bolts. Once you have everything in place, and then you're protected from making any kind of a contact onto those terminal bolts. So, a little bit of a safety feature, extra set of bolts, very nice to see. And here's what the flip side of that looks like. I just turned it around. Pretty much the same thing, except it does show you right here, 3,840 watt hours in capacity. Yeah, very nice. Love the Red Dodo products. Very reliable. Have had zero problems with the one we've been running. Expect zero with this one as well. And just to give you a little bit of a size comparison, this is the 200 amp hour version right here. That's the new 300 amp hour version. Same length. This one's just a little bit wider. Basically the same footprint profile. Extra 100 amp hours in this one though. And it's a little heavier. Both of them are beautiful batteries. And we know from Redoto they've got a fantastic warranty. Great customer service. They will back this product and help you with any problems you might have. And that's always a big plus. And I'm going to be able to offer you a very large discount on this particular battery right now, the 300 amp hour. And then as well as a, a nice discount for all of their product lines. But an especially large discount for this one right now. And it does come with a nice little uh, Ziploc storage bag where you can store your your manual and your quick reference guide and throw in your extra terminal bolts. So keep those where they're handy for quick reference and to learn all you would need to know to hook this up if you don't know how to. And then you, their customer service is always available too if you want to reach out to them. If you have any questions, they're happy to answer. And I've spent a lot of time back and forth with them in many discussions, and they're very responsive and very quick. As we become accustomed to with a lot of these batteries that are coming out of China now, they're very, very great customer service. And they're making a great product at a very reasonable price. The price of lithium keeps going down. This is already at a good price. And then we're going to be able to get you about 120 bucks off of that right now. So... Uh, if any of you are sitting on the fence, it might be a good time to jump off and grab you a nice big battery. All right, so let's get this thing tied into the system and start charging it up. We're going to pop it into a, a charging station, solar-powered charging station, with 400 watts of power. Today's a good charge day, so we got to give it a nice little boost. It's getting a little bit late in the day, so it won't get completely full, but by tomorrow it should and I'll try and keep this in sequence to show you everything you would like to know about how it charges up. So let's pop, pop it in and start charging. Okay you can see here that I now have it tied into the charging station. It was very very easy to do.
and now it's charging. So what I had to do was reset my monitor shunt to uh, 300 amp hours. And I guess I'll turn that light off. We're not getting too bad of light here. There we go. And I'll show you. So there it is, 200 amp hours. Uh, this is an, what it was set on before. I, t I pulled a 200 amp hour uh, battery out of here and it was completely full. And I have reset the size to 300 amp hours and that's why it's charging. Now when it gets completely full, I'll let it go through the complete uh, cycle of absorption and into float and then I'll reset this to tell this when it's 100% full. Right now it says it's 66% full. Uh, that's not even completely accurate. When I tied it in it was 13.14. So what I have to do now is let this run till this battery is fully charged and when it gets up to the float then I will tell the monitor that that is 100% full. The other thing that I did was I went into the the app for the charge controller and I renamed it so I know what I'm looking at and I renamed it the Red Odo 300 amp hour battery right there at the top. I run several Victron charge controllers and I like to be able when I look at a glance and see all of them at which which battery is doing what. And right now, uh, got a little bit of clouds moving through. Just 103, 104 watts coming in. Got uh, a 400 watt panel string, 44 volts, 2.5 amps, pushing about eight amps into the battery right now. So we're gonna let this go completely uh, to float. Uh, it's not going to reach there today. Like I said, it's getting to be the end of the day. We're going to charge this up full. Now you could use one of these lithium iron phosphate uh, 12 volt chargers if you were so inclined and you were just going to use your battery as a backup and you wanted to have it full in, uh, in your garage for an eventual power outage. But out here, we like to charge everything with solar if we can. We try to stay away from the generator, but we always have uh, one or two of these as a backup anyway, just in case. But we're gonna charge it up with solar. So there it is, hooked up. It's hooked up to a very simple 12 volt charging station. And the only thing that I'll swap out over time, or before I get into the, uh, the discharge review, I've got a 2000 watt inverter that I'm gonna uh, take this 1500 watt out and put a 2000 watt inverter because this battery is gonna be able to handle that with the 200 amp uh, discharge rate. And so we're gonna put it through a little heavier use and a little heavier uh, demonstration for you all to see. But anyway, very happy. Let's see what the monitor says. Got reading the battery now with that 100 and 20 watts coming in as 13.24. Of course, that's not completely accurate. Uh, the only way you can accurately know what your battery state of charge is is at rest. So during charging and discharging, it fluctuates as you, you may or may not know. But anyway, uh, that's what's happening. And we can see uh, 8.2 amps going into that battery. So it is charging, it's well on its way probably get there tomorrow if the sun cooperates. Very easy. Now that's what you call a drop-in replacement. Like I said, I had a 200 amp hour battery in there that was fully charged. So it was perfect time to do this review and demonstration. Redodo did send this battery out to me for a review. I thank the people at Redodo. They've been very good to deal with. And I did relook at the link that they're going to supply me with for this channel. Get you guys 120 bucks off of that battery. Uh, that's a heck of a deal. It's already very cheap. Another 120 bucks off. Uh, and you've got a nice drop-in replacement for whatever kind of power system you want to run. Uh, I also have a 
uh, product wide on their website, 5% discount available. But this one's going to be a little heavier discounted uh, value right now. 120 bucks off. That's great. So there we go. Charging. <laughs> yeah. Come on, son. Come on. Looking great. So I'll come back and show you guys what this looks like when it was uh, completely full. But it's going there now. Beautiful battery. Just slid right into place. Very nice. That thing's gonna power some equipment here. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll charge that battery up all the way and be back and show you uh, some discharging with it, running some heavy appliances, and whatever else we can think of to show you how that great big 300 amp hour battery from Red Odo performs. It's getting a little grayer now it may take a couple of days to charge that up you just never know what you're going to get out here but we'll be back and show you for sure all right everybody aloha